Hello, people. I am Jabby Kawai, joined by Achara Kirk. What's up? We're looking at Kirk trailer. Achara Kirk. Achara K R K. Crick. Cricket. Wow. Kirk. Oh, K R K stands for something, doesn't it? Yeah, we've already seen Kath, a, a trailer Kathu for Vakula this. Kathu Vakula Rendu Kadhal. Yes. Otherwise known as Achara Kathu Vakulu Rendu Kadhal. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Yeah. You guys, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Here we go. Bro. கட்டிஜா எனக்கு ஒரு அம்புக்கு இருக்கிறது ரொம்ப பெரிய விஷயமா அப்படி என்ன விஷயம் அவன் என்ன கல்யாணம் பண்ணிட்டான் நீ ஏமா சோகமா இருக்க உன்னமா கல்யாணம் பண்ணிட்டான் பண்ணிட்டான் நீங்க காத்து வாக்குல <laughs> this is so like weird and cute. Ungal tea pudikonla, adha tea kondu vandirka. Ungal coffee pudikonla, adha coffee kondu vandha. Kattu bakla rende. I meant to do this earlier. I want to say thank you to Advaith Ayer. I hope I'm saying your name correctly for making subtitles for us. Unfortunately, by the time we got round to watching this video or I don't know if that's fortunately or unfortunately, they added subtitles yep. to the trailer. So we just went with that cuz it was a little bit easier, but we do appreciate you doing that for us. Well, just regarding the trailer and the movie, I'm like I wonder how many people strongly relate to that situation. I know you probably do. But like other people who are out there who are you know who are like i'm struggling to just get one person to want to marry me let alone two people <clears throat> i don't know <laughs> i'm surprised that you don't have more to say about this i don't Gabby i don't Kauai. i don't know what i want to say I, okay let me try not to like bring my own experiences into this i i'm wondering where this film could go that makes sense for the audience for people in general because there's one of two directions that this goes like either they figure a way to work it out kind of like a mormon marriage sister wives uh or they will both realize they don't need him those are the only two or the third option is he just picks one that's not gonna happen the whole point of the movie is he can't make up his mind that's the the, the whole point of the adventure of this film is that they're both competing for his love and so either they learn that they can both just have him you know they take turns with him or you know, kind of like a Pablo Escobar situation. If you watch Narcos or whatever the, movie, the show yeah. is called on Netflix, like he had a whole thing where he had like four wives for different days of the week. And then like on the fifth day, they all spent time together or something like that. There's a system to it where you can make it work. Yeah. Um, yeah. All parties have to be in agreement. This is such a weird thing to cut, like, because like, India strikes me as a more like traditional conservative sort yeah. of yeah. country uh, as a whole. And I have only heard of a handful of instances where you have heard of a, a, a man having more than one wife or, or female partner. I haven't really heard about the inverse of that. 
I'm sure it exists, but I haven't heard of that being a thing quite as much, like well known. You know what I mean? Like right. there's the a famous woman guy having multiple husbands. Exactly. There was that one famous guy who died not that long ago who had like 30 wives or something like that and like 100 children. Yeah, 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 that guy. I forgot his name. He had a lot of wives. They all seemed pretty happy. Right, yeah, yeah, they were all pretty content. I mean, it's an interesting premise, to say the least, because you don't see this very often. The, the thing I keep coming back to, and I don't know how many times I get to keep saying this, India keeps coming out with these concepts that I'm like, oh, I haven't really seen that. Like, we've seen stuff kind of like this in the States, but they weren't really comedies, per se. There was the one with Cameron Diaz. Cam yeah. I think Cameron Diaz was in a film like this where they all fell in love with the guy who played the Lannister. Uh, who lost his hand. Um, Jamie Lannister. Jamie Lannister, that actor, was in a yeah. film where multiple women were into him, but they didn't know about each other. And once they did, they all decided to get back at him. Right, that's a comedic element. Well, he was trying to play them all. Yeah. A little bit different. And then there's Bound, which the Wachowskis, that's their first film. That wasn't so much a three-way, there's more of a lesbian thing. So never mind. Yeah. Uh, I can't I really, like, what? the way the advertisements went made it feel like it might've been a three-way thing. So it, that was uh, okay. more of a lesbian thing. So I can't say that I've seen this come up too many times. I actually came up with a story like this a while ago. I was trying to talk about my own personal experiences uh -huh. of like having that difficulty of choice. I don't want to say it's a first world problem because that it's this is a problem that can happen anywhere in the world. I don't how you call it a problem it's like you're you're a dude who has who has who's got too many options got oh, too many or options. you yeah, exactly rah. it's like how you know? do you how do you induce sympathy in a situation like that but it is kind of similar here it's like okay how do you induce sympathy in this situation where two incredibly beautiful yeah incredibly amazing women yeah. who are both very different but have excellent qualities you know each possesses wonderful qualities how do you feel sorry for a guy who's got two amazing women in love with him and and the dilemma they're in. Well, in this, in this particular story, you don't feel sorry for him, I don't think. I think it's more of a comedic thing where it's just like, what's it gonna do? Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like yeah. the whole movie. Yeah. And you're running into these circumstances where people would give you the double take or the, even the triple take, like, what the hell? You know, yeah. like, what's what's going on over there? He's holding two women's hands. It's like, it's very unusual to say the least. And that's what I like about it. It's exploring a topic that's actually a difficult conversation that a lot of people are curious about, but afraid to venture into because of how it looks. I mean, I've been in some weird circumstances to say the least. And I remember one particular girl who was into me, like girlfriend level into me, but she was like on the fence all the time, like kind of reticent, but kind of into me because of someone else that was involved at the same time, but like all, all of us knew about each other. All I can say is that she was afraid of the appearances. That's what I imagine should come up in this story is just the appearance of it. Like how awkward is that? They're gonna try to make him choose at some point. And that's why I said like, I, going back to what I said at the beginning, like there's only one of two ways that this goes really, because it, it can't be that he chooses one of them. It has to be that either they managed to work this out like a Mormon marriage or the two of them just leave him and he's by himself because he couldn't decide, which I feel like also happens in real life. But um, I mean, it's extremely complicated, but it's interesting that this movie is addressing this topic. I mean, we may have just gone way off the mark and it's something like way simpler than what we think. But, you know, for us watching it, it seems like the movie's kind of going, oh, you know, we're exploring what might happen if a guy and two women are involved together and how they navigate that because these days you know there are a lot of alternative relationships that are kind of coming to the yeah. surface and and people are kind of being more open about it and it's interesting that this is the subject of this movie yeah i feel like in india though i mean you guys correct me if i'm wrong i feel like in india and if this film were to take place in in china if it was being realistic, it'd be the inverse, where you'd have one woman and two guys. Oh, be really? Be because just the, the sheer volume of men compared to women. I don't know. In China, definitely, there's more men than women, right? But do you know that if women are having multiple male partners? No, I don't know about that. What I'm saying is, if that were to happen, to me, it actually makes more sense in that regard. So I was, this is, I'm going to get into a weird territory. Forgive me if I am off my rock or out of pocket completely here, okay? I'm just trying to, like, make this conversation go somewhere. So I w was told with regards to the Muslim religion, that the reason why you had instances of a man with multiple wives wasn't for like the man to flex or anything like that or, or to cater to the man's ego. It was a matter of like population or something like that back then where you needed to have that. I don't know if that's actually what happened. That might just be an excuse. 
Mm-hmm. But like you're looking at the circumstances in China where you have way more men than women. It's almost like if a man wants an opportunity to have offspring or to be with a woman, he might have to deal with this, the, the fact that he has to share her. Yeah, but I think there's it just might, not enough to go around. I get it. Yeah. But I think it might also be a cultural thing where in certain cultures, one man having multiple wives is kind of more normal. Back in the day in Thailand, that was actually a thing. You would have your main wife and then like no, your, I, I your minor that. wives. But, the, but for tradition, even traditionally speaking, like in terms of biology, like you look at apes and monkeys, there are instances in the animal kingdom where you have one woman with uh, one female with multiple male partners. That's a thing that actually happens in the animal kingdom. Well, yeah. And, and then so, also just like in old, old, old ancient primitive times, right? So, like it would make sense for a woman to, you know, sleep with multiple guys because then bees. they would all protect the baby. Just look at bees. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, yeah. or ants. All I'm asking to, to the audience now is, if you were a guy in the circumstance of one of the women in here, could you deal with it? Like, could you handle that? There's a lot of guys who could. Really? Yeah, I'm surprised like how, at how many guys are cool with that kind of a situation. But like, I'm not. But I know that there's a lot of guys who are like that, who are just like chill about it. They don't care. Like, they're not trying to marry the woman in those circumstances usually. Sure. Um, but, yeah, but like, like, what if they were? But what if they were? That's. Well, yeah, inverse Mormonism is, is my question. But anyway, yeah, like this is not new. This is this is an aid. This is a thing that's been around for a long time. Like I said, the, in the Muslim religion and then in Mormonism. In modern day Mormonism doesn't explore this quite as much. They're trying to break away, break away from that. From even the though, sister wives. But the thing about it is, it's still there. Like, and, and no one's getting arrested for it. Like, if you go to Utah, you'll still see a guy with like a trail of wives behind him. <laughs> so it's a thing. I remember watching some some uh, documentary about Mormonism a long time ago, and this guy was like. I was watching this movie Twister, and I didn't understand this. This guy had a dilemma of some kind where he had two women he had to decide between. It was Bill Paxton. He had two women to decide between. I didn't get the problem. Just marry both of them. <laughs> like that was his attitude about it, right? Right. And I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's not really traditional in today's modern, you know, yeah. way of thinking of things. Come back to this. I, I think it's a very, very interesting topic to say the least. And that's the th- most standout thing. Like it cannot help but be the most standout thing. I can't even compliment like the director of photography, the direction, the music. Like the only thing that, that like pops out to me is like the circumstance is so unusual. And then the acting therein and them selling that circumstance. Well, yeah. And it's sold in this kind of really cute, whimsical way. Which is highly unusual because usually it's not sold like that. Usually it's sold as a very dramatic thing. Or it could be comedic, I guess, like you said in the the one with um, that was a revenge tale, though. That's sure, it's, it, different, it's a little different bit different. Take, yeah. So, but anyway, um, curious to say the least. I would definitely want to check this out just to see what the film has to say about this particular topic and what message it's trying to sell. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully, you enjoyed some of this conversation. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.